Hello Pisces, welcome and welcome back to my channel, Free Speaks Guidance. Somebody's been lying. Somebody has been wearing a false mask. Whoever this particular person is that you're connected to energetically, they have been lying to you. The thing about these lies they've told to you, they're about to be exposed. With this fatality, there is about to be a tower moment that takes place in this person's life. When this tower moment does take place in this life, it's going to put this person in a position to where they're going to have to force, be forced to open up to you. What I feel with this particular energy, Pisces, with that opening up, the door is closed. I feel like this is somebody that you may not have heard from. They may have blocked you. They may have ghosted you. Whatever they did to you, they're fixing to be put in a position to where they're going to have to unblock you, where they're going to have to reach out to you, where they're going to have to talk to you. Something is about to take place in this person's life that's going to be tragic. And I hate to say it, but this is what's came out in the pre-shuffle. Something is going to shake this person's entire world up. And when they do, when it does, guess who they're going to have to come running back to? Let's hop into this and see how this is going to play out. If you're new here, welcome. If the reading does resonate, please subscribe to my channel, please. And thank you in advance. If you're an existing subscriber, welcome back everybody hi blue pisces mika and janari welcome i will be doing an extended to this reading if you're interested in the extended there will be a link in the description box below to purchase the extended let's do it show me what's going on here spirit show me pisces energy when it comes to this person give me pisces energy when it comes to them what's going on with pisces we got the Empress, but this is the Empress in reverse. Whoever this is, you're not fighting for this anymore. They have sucked the pure life out of you. The Libra energy. They sucked the life out of you. You could have been married to this person and going through a divorce, been in a relationship with this person for a long time and just been through it with them. Or you could have kids by this particular person, but whoever it is, they've sucked the life out of you. What is the challenge here for Pisces when it comes to this person? What is Pisces' issue when it comes to this person? What issues does Pisces have? We got the Queen of Pentacles. There could be money involved with this. This person may owe you money with them having to come back. They may owe you money. That may be your problem with this particular person. Or you have invested too much time into this is what I see with this particular person. So the problem that you have with the person, you've either helped them out time and time again, and you've had financially and they didn't pay you back, or you've invested a lot of time in an individual trying to wait on this person to prove themselves to you, and they still have not done that yet. That's, a, that's the issue that you have with this particular individual. On your mind, when it comes to the person that you're dealing with, they better show up and show the hell out if they want to deal with you. Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo energy is here. So this is a particular person who, this is the thing about it. You're not through. You're not through. They have definitely drained you. They have definitely sucked the life out of you. You got a problem with it. It's no secret that you got a problem with it. But this being on your mind. If they just fight for it, you're going to give them another chance. That's what this is saying. This king of wands is saying that if you fight for me, I will, I'll take you back. So even though you're drained, even though you're tired, if this person comes in and they put up a fight, you're willing to give this person another opportunity. In your heart, what you truly want out of the connection with this individual you just want them to, you want them to show you, show me that you love me. Don't just say, tell me you love me. Show me that you've changed. Show me that you want only me. What you really want is this person's undivided attention. Some of you guys may have a child by this particular person with their child there. If you do, you want your family. You want your family with this particular person. They just not acting the way you want them to. Taurus energy. 
deep down up underneath the surface when it comes to your energy with this particular person, Pisces. <sighs> Both of these are in reverse. This emperor is normally sitting down, taking care of business, and this emperor is normally sit, sitting up. These are This is a double-sided deck before anybody asks. If you go back to regular tarot, you know the empress is not laying down, about to fall out. You know the emperor is not standing here looking like mean. This is narcissistic energy. Aries energy here. Deep down when it's all said and done, there's... You know they got control. I'm, I'll say this. When it's all said and done, you know this person has a level of control over you. Even though you don't want it, I'm not saying you want it because you've been drained. They, they've done a lot. But you still think about the time you've invested in this connection. Even though it is a lot of time that you've invested in this connection, a lot of you guys ask yourself, is it really worth investing this time in somebody else? Or if this sap sucker gets these things together, we can actually be something. So I feel like a lot of you guys, even though you're drained, you, you want this to work out. Even though it's been a hard road for you with this particular person, you genuinely want this person to work out. You really, you really want this person to work out. You, you know they got control. You know they got control. This emperor here, look, this is a control freak. And you know they have some form of control over you. They may contempt, promise you something and you just, you fall for it every time. Because how much you love this particular individual that you're dealing with. Actions I see you taking when it comes to this particular person. We got the, you, gonna, you all accept an apology. You're open. You're still open. This is you. If you give me some love, this cup, there's something in this cup. If you come and show me something, you come with something, I'll take it. So for you, your energy is showing me that if they come with it, with something, just something. Shit, <laughs> this page of cups is not a lot. It's not. Not if you have a history with this particular person. This is petty. This is childish. This is foolish. It's an ain't shit offer is what I call them. Because if I've been dealing with you over six months, if I've been dealing with you over 30 days and I don't let you borrow some of my money, we've already been dealing with each other too long for you to come at, back out of page. Because, see, the thing about Capricorns, and I'm a Capricorn, and I'm coming back to the Pisces reading, but this is a part of a Capricorn. This is what you don't want to play with with a Capricorn. Not this. Because when you start playing with that, you already got you in a relationship with a Capricorn. That's something Capricorns value. So when you start going in a Capricorn's pocket, you in a relationship, we marry, we go together. You're not single no more, and we don't even got to talk about it. When I exchange coins with you, we already was in the relationship. So like I said, 30 days is too long if you let this person borrow some money. If this person got in your pocket, they ain't got no business coming back through here like no page. They don't. They just don't. They need to be coming back through here standing the fuck up and not standing up with no attitude because this is attitude. Don't come in here with no attitude. You need to come in here and with respect. They need to be coming in and respecting you. But they're coming through as a page. Well, you want them. You'll take them. You'll take them if they come through as a page. You need to set your standards a little bit higher, a lot higher, because you shouldn't be dealing with no pages the time you've invested with this particular person. It's obviously some time because at this point in time, you're drained from the connection. Let's look at their energy. Show me this person's energy, Pisces. And this is a Pisces reading. I know it's not a Capricorn. Like I said, the Queen of Pentacles is Capricorn energy, and I was looking at it. That's the only reason I said it. And no, I'm not dealing with a Pisces because I ain't dealing with nobody. The only Pisces I deal with is 14 years old. He's my grandson. Tell me about this person's energy. Tell me about this person's energy. Tell me their energy. Look at them. Look. Sagittarius energy. Look how they're coming through. This is another reversal. They're not really trying to fix it. They're lying to you. They're coming back around, but they're lying. 
this temperance energy, this is somebody coming back with apologies, but this is somebody that's still lazy as hell too. So you're definitely dealing with a lazy lover is what I see with this particular person. Tell me about this person. Tell me about this person's energy coming toward Pisces. Yeah, they're in their feelings. This is somebody that's in their feelings. So when this person does come back to you with this temperance energy, you're going to get all kind of apologies. Something has happened. Something has triggered them because they're in their feelings when they do come back around. So you'll get somebody that's all emotional when they come back around. They'll be telling you about this big fatality that they recently went through. They're coming to cry on your shoulder is what I see when it comes to this particular individual. This is somebody that's coming in to cry on your shoulder. This is somebody that's in their feelings that may have taken a major loss, but something big has happened in this person's life to have them in their feelings and crying to you. What you can expect next from this particular person, and I didn't say they was coming through as a page. I said you will take them as a page. This is your energy. If you come through with something, I'll take you back. They're going to come through with something. They're coming through all in their feelings. This is how they're coming back around to you. When you hear from this particular person, you're going to get somebody that's extremely emotional. Hell, they may even cry a tear or two. This person will be coming around to cry on your shoulder when this person comes back around because they need you. So what I see with your particular person in the upcoming week, you can expect this person to be needing to come around and cry on your shoulder. They went through something tra tragic, tragic. And they don't have anybody to turn to. And I feel like they don't have any. See, look. King of Wands. Yeah, they are crying. This is somebody hurt. Something has happened. Something's just going to happen here. Something is just going to happen to change this person's whole world. And they are not going to have anybody to turn to but you. So what you can expect next is for this person to come in and cry on your shoulder because they need you. Let's take a sneak peek into the extended to see how this is going to play out. They're opening up, all right. They are opening up. So they've been lying this entire time. They've been playing these games, having control, this real narcissistic energy this entire time. And now this fatality happens or something bad, something big is about to happen in their life. And obviously it's not good because they're opening up, but they're opening up very emotional with tears, wanting to cry on your shoulder when you hear from them again. Let's take a sneak peek into the extended to see how this is going to play out with you and this person. Pisces. Messages for Pisces regarding this person. Pisces. Show me what's going on in their heart. Show me what's going on in this person's heart. Show me what's going on in their heart. What's going on in this person's heart? Pisces. What's going on with them? If you're interested in the extended, there will be a link in the description box below to purchase the extended. If this is your reading, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you're seeking something more personal, my contact information is in the description box below. What's going on with this person? Show me what's going on in their life. Is this person in love with Pisces? What is their true intentions for coming back around? What's blocking this from being a successful relationship? Do they genuinely miss Pisces or do they miss what Pisces did for them? Do they regret how Pisces treated them? Do they regret how they treated Pisces? Is, will they apologize and it be a sincere apology? Can Pisces trust what this person is about to say? Does this person stalk, stalk Pisces? Is there a third party? If so, what's going on there? Are they in love with the third party? Is the third party in love with them? How will that connection unfold? Is this Pisces soulmate or a karmic lesson? And when they come around this time, will it end in a long-term healthy relationship? Or are they playing games with Pisces? Or are they coming because they need help from Pisces? Pisces, if you're interested in how this will unfold, with you and this particular individual that's about to go through some shit, there's a link in the description box below to purchase the extended. If this is where we depart, remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm sending love and light your way. 
Enjoy the remainder of your day, Pisces. Namaste.